you may be wondering why I'm doing this. Well, and my main motivation is I've never seen anyone do this with a shirt in HD. And now I have all these new HD stupid toys that look so great. What's the point of getting HD if you do this to your hair, anyway? Is that... Is there some kind of counteraction where... You don't want to be high definition? I don't know. Anyway, real quick. Uh, updates, recording, review. One, I got hacked all to hell last week. And all them scumbags, I like to shoot them in the face. But uh, after considerable effort on both the time and financial fronts, I think I've defeated them for now. Yeah, we'll see about that. But so far, so good. So the site's back in action, and I'm really happy about that. Um, got a new article about wiring cables. Um, if you're thinking about wiring cables, this is for you. If you're not thinking about wiring cables, this article is not for you. Avoid it at all costs, and always just buy your own. Um, I do think there's advantages with, with building your own cables, if you're so inclined. Um, kind of like nerds who want to build their own computers. Some people just want to build cables. I think it's very handy to um, have the old soldering iron in your back pocket just in case. Um, in particular, I like having um, the ability to, to grab the right cable, like the quality of cable that I need for X job. I like having custom jacks just in case. I like There's a lot of stuff I like about it. However, it's time-consuming, and any cable that's popular, like standard uh, XLR to mail um, type connections, things like that, you're going to find them cheaper almost always um, by going with some mass-produced type of deal. With that said... Um, if you're going to go for the super high quality stuff, you're looking at Mogami and things like that, you're looking at 50 bucks for like a 20 foot cable sometimes. And uh, you can almost always build it uh, cheaper than that. So if you're thinking about building cables, um, check out my new article. Goodbye.